It's about time we make this comparison. Welcome back guys, hope you're having a great Thursday, hope your week is going great and you're all looking after yourselves. Today is a question of Ye versus Adidas. Did Adidas take Kanye's design? We're talking about this and we also are comparing two of the sneakers in contention and all that controversy. So welcome back to the channel guys, hope you're all having a great Thursday, hope your week is going great, hope you're all having a great, great time out there. It's hot in the UK, so if you're in the UK and anywhere around the world where it's actually hitting over 40 degrees Celsius, please make sure you actually keep hydrated because it's hot in the studio guys, it's actually really hot. But today, before we do anything to do with the channel, please do like, follow, subscribe, come and chat to me, let's have a conversation, let's break it down, because today is a special one, I don't know if anybody's done this already, but we're going to make that comparison guys, we're going to take the Adlet 22 sneaker, or the slides as we call them, call them, don't call them sneakers, we call them slides, we're going to take this slide and compare it to the Yeezy slide. So as you can see from the B-roll guys, this is the Adidas Adilet 22 Magic Lime. And as you can see, this is the slide that started the ball rolling with Kanye's tweet. And this is the slide where Kanye said on tweet, or was it on Twitter or Instagram? He actually said, I think it was Twitter, but he actually said, don't copy my designs. But let's get into that controversy at the second half when we look actually look at the slide. But before we do anything, we're gonna check out the box and hey, Presto shebang. This is the actual box the Adelaide 22 comes in and as you can see it's got a traditional three stripes blue Adidas logo on the side with the Adidas sign and the actual lettering and also on top of that it is just a rectangular box that fits those slides. This is actually like a normal slide box. If you've seen any slides, if you actually got any Nike slides or any, any other brand slides like Feeler slide, they always comes in a rectangular box like this and this is the front of the box and that's how it looks and that has how it should be guys and as you can see on front it says Adlet 22 and there's a special meaning between that 22 I'm going to go into but Adlet 22 US 10 UK 10 and this is guys true to size this actual slide is true to size this is um, in regards to the actual European size is 44 and a half but it's a bit weird. I always say this to people, the European sizes and the UK sizes and the US sizes are all jumbled up all over the place on sneakers. So measure your shoe size and make sure it actually aligns to the European size to get your true size. And forget all the UK, EU, US sizes and all of that, China sizes. Just measure it in inches, convert it to the European sizes and make sure you get your right size. It's very confusing sometimes. I've had this conversation with a lot of people, so make sure you do that. That's the best way to get, make sure you actually get the right size for yourself but also the box at the actual code on this is gx6946 and it says m mag lime mag lime mag lime so magic lime magic lime magic lime and it's the original boxes and that's what it should be and that's what it should look like and as you can see inside this box when you open this up you should i'm gonna try and open this up you should get just the traditional and that's paper there you go guys and also in the slides you should get this kind of like fillers for the for the actual slides fillers for the slides where you actually put your foot through but that's the box guys so let's take a look at these slides and actually compare them to some easy slides it's slide time so hey presto shebang and as you can see this is the adidas adilit 22 magic climb and with that magic climb this has got that jade lime all over it it almost looks like very light limeish color and it is absolutely just a gorgeous, gorgeous build. It almost looks like it's 3D printed, but it's not 3D printed. This is actually cast. And it kind of, from what I've read, this is supposed to be like a topographical 3D print. And it's almost supposed to represent the ridges 
and the actual build like almost looks like Minecraft. As you can see, you've got these ridges that like, kind of build a natural topographical look to it. And underneath this is actually looks like the moon or Mars. I think it was, I thought I read it was like a Mars kind of effect where you've got like craters in the Mars, um, what do you call it, surface. So there you go. It actually looks like it's got these craters or craters and basically kind of indenting the bottom of that. So it is a unique, unique sneaker. It is definitely, definitely unique. And the only way we can actually look at this sneaker and compare this is bring up a Yeezy slide and this is a baby kids version of a Yeezy slide but this is one of my mates Yeezy slides for his kid that they actually grow into so he always lets me do the comparison with the authentic Yeezy slide I never get fixed guys this is an authentic Yeezy slide and as you can see it's got those ridges rather than the actual sole on the Adelet 22 but some say it's similar to the actual Yeezy slide but I can definitely see a massive difference as you can see from the ridge of that actual slide where the foot goes into that is actually more peaky is actually like got a ridge at the toe here which the Adelaide 22 doesn't have is it's quite different it's more of a different slide variation where you've got that hook at the back where you've got that kind of instep at the back on the Adelaide 22 you've got that for the Yeezy but the Yeezys actually run small to size so you've got to get a bigger size up or you've got to roll two sizes up but the Adelaide 22 true fits like pretty much true to size that's that's the differences but I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this um, in terms of materials this is made from like 25% EVA foam but it's got like the Adelaide 22 the 22 meaning it's made from more recyclable materials more recyclable plastics and that's what goes into the sneaker rather than anything else and the Yeezy slides as we know are made purely of EVA foam or more of a percentage of EVA foam and then it's got this like algae infused EVA foam the algae is a very big contribution to actually making it a bit more natural a bit more environmentally friendly and this is what builds the Yeezy slide and when you talk about the softness the Yeezy slide is really really soft like I'm talking it is really soft and it, it kind of is probably the most comfortable slide in the world at this moment in time but the Adelit 22 as you can see guys it's a bit more tougher it's a bit more tougher but it's still got that 25% EVA foam in it but also as you can see the depth of a Yeezy slide is way more in terms of the depth of the back and the depth of the actual slide itself and then where it actually stands it is literally way more deeper than the Adelit 22 and as you can see the actually the depth of the Adelit 22 is a bit more shallower so I don't think you're going to get the same comfort I don't think you're going to get the same comfortability when you walk as well but it's still such a great great slide I like the looks of it I like the actual like topographical 3D topographical view for it they obviously the slide is like EVA cast is actually cast through injected cast through with EVA form this the slide is always going to the easy slide is always going to be way way more comfortable than the actual Adelaide 22 and the Adelaide 22 it feels more tougher it feels more durable but I think what you'll find with this is once you start wearing this is going to break in really well it is, it is a great great look and I'm actually this is for personal use I'm going to actually wear this I'm not going to give it back I'm not doing it just for the review I'm actually going to try and wear this and see how comfortable it is in terms of my Nike slides that I've actually got on now and I might eventually pick up Yeezy slides I always pick up Yeezy slides for other people I might actually pick up a set for myself and actually do the comparison with the on feet and how they actually feel for with the Adelaide 22 and with the Yeezy slides but guys I'm telling you if you want this this is still a great great pickup I'm gonna talk about the price first before I talk about the controversy this actually still is priced at like 45 or 55 pounds and uh, you can still get this for retail and you can sometimes get this for under retail or resale sites but also guys this Yeezy slide is basically in terms of the men's sizes it's about 65 pounds but I'm, I'm seeing a trend in the Yeezy slides. I think they've released so much so that they're actually not going for any much over resale at the moment. So it's a good thing because anybody that wants a Yeezy slide can actually get a Yeezy slide. That's the two comparisons. Now let's talk about the controversy because there was a lot of controversy with Kanye coming out and saying that the Adelaide 22 copied the Yeezy slide because the Adelaide, the original Adelaide looks like a normal slide but the Adelaide 22 looks more like a Yeezy slide and there was a lot of comparisons with Yeezy and Adidas saying or going back and forth. 
but I think it was more Yeezy led. But he was going at Adidas and saying that you've actually made a slide that was actually really comparable to his Yeezy slides. And there's, if you look at the actual Adidas range, some of the Adidas actually takes some innovations from Yeezy anyway. And it's only now that Adidas actually, or Yeezy has actually come out and said, stop copying my designs. But there is a massive, massive kind of theory behind that from my perspective. And if you watch the Shoe Dog podcast, which I advise you guys to watch because all the information and facts are there and we go and break it down and have that discussion. But guys, when it comes to marketing, I think this is a whole marketing ploy in terms of bringing more attention to the Adelaide 22, bringing more attention to those Adidas foam runners, bringing more attention to the Adidas range of actual sneakers, because I feel that there needs to be more attention to the Adidas range. And why I say that, and what was we discovered in the Shooter podcast was that Yeezy still claims 15% of all Adidas sales, and it's only good for him to bring attention to the Adidas range, and especially when a new variation of a slide comes up, and everybody wasn't really talking about this, and they are actually talking about this, because if it wasn't for Kanye, nobody would actually be paying, paying attention to this slide. And he brought the attention onto this by saying, this looks very much like a Yeezy slide. But then with their phone runners or the Adidas version of the phone runners, he never said anything, but Adidas released the commercial saying, we are not here to cause a problem. So that kind of built up the marketing speculation. That actually brought the hype on a natural hype, good press or bad press, it doesn't really matter. But when Kanye is actually forking up 15% of your sales, and this is up to 2026, it only is natural to bring more attention to your brand and use the most influential public person out there, which is Kanye West. And if Kanye said it, it is going to be put attention on your brand. So that's why I feel what actually happened with that whole situation a couple of months back or, or probably a month back. But that's what I feel. And I just feel like it is a big, big marketing stunt to actually bring attention to some of the added that's ranges and it just makes sense in terms of uh, commercially in terms of money wise it makes sense because the more people buy of these sneakers the more people actually pick up these actual slides and sneakers the more Kanye earns and it was natural that money talks and that's what I feel and that's what I feel with these kind of slides and actually any other thing that Adidas may be taking and I'm pretty sure Kanye had an influence in these Adelaide 22s I have no doubt about it they actually Adidas actually consulted him about this actual slide so with that said, I'm going to give you that front perspective. I'm going to give you that lateral side, that topographical side. I'm going to give you that medial side and the sole at the back, I mean. And then the sole, as you can see, this has got that moon surface crater look to that sole. And then that 360 degree rotation. Make sure those slides are on your feet. You're walking in the street if you can with these slides. And bang, bang and bang i love this all this it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that was my take on the adelaide 22 i'm gonna give it that free guts it's good it's a good free guts i haven't actually worn it or tested it it's a free guts out of five um i think it's a good i think it's a good slide it's very unique it's very different it still takes a bit of innovation from the easy slide but it's very unique and very good take to the actual slide and this is like the foam wars this is the foam and slide wars and the croc wars and the clog wars so this is all going to keep building and building and building i know the fear of gods are coming out new balance dior gucci all of the all the big companies are coming new balance have got, New Balance have got their unique slide. Adidas um, are continuing with what they're continuing. They needed to put their name in the actual bracket. Nike are coming out with what Nike are coming out with, with that foam slip on and the actual different variations with Jordan. So this is all the battle of the slides, guys. Trust me, the slides and the Crocs. It's all about that. It is going to pop off in the next year or so. So watch out for all those slides. Watch out for all those foam runners. And I hope you do end up copying some of those because it will be unique to kind of test them, test for them, and actually wear them out and see actually how they kind of adjust to the comfortability of the environment that you're working with. So let's see what happens with that. But Thank you for joining in on the actual review. Thank you for actually listening through to all my actual information and facts. So thank you guys for coming back. Thank you guys for always supporting and thank you guys for always coming through. Like I say at the end of every single video, hope you have an amazing week, amazing month and an amazing year. And I hope you guys got the sneakers you like because you all deserve to get the sneakers you want from me, TJ at Love Kicks Customs. Peace out for now guys and peace.